Back here on Tough TV's presentation of the AAU National Championships 8 and under division, the kickoff from the Albany Giants is going to be kicked off and fielded by number 7, Noah Martin. He'll take the ball and then be dragged down right around the 45, 46 yard line right there. Fredericksburg Canes will set up. They're up 7 to nothing so far in the first half after a great half by their quarterback, Monty McMorris. He also had an interception on defense. The Canes forced two turnovers from the Albany Giants, and that's really so far been the story of the game. Canes will get the ball back here. Third quarter, Coach Maurice Hutton will gather them around, and, of course, it's going to be back to the drawing board a little bit for Coach Daniel Bologna and the Albany Giants. Fredericksburg comes up, takes the field. Morris under center. They line up in a power eye formation. Hand the ball off, and the runner will be dropped right there. Parkman, the ball carrier. Elijah Parkman. One yard gain, that's going to bring up a second down and nine. Ball is going to be on the 47 yard line. McMorris will direct his troops. Line gets set. Again, a power eye formation. Uh, McMorris falls down. That's going to be a loss of about a yard. Maybe actually two. And that'll bring up a third down and 11 for Coach Hutton and the Fredericksburg Canes. Canes have been pretty dy dynamic on offense. A couple big plays, one to Noah Martin, one to Xavier Parkman. And, of course, as we mentioned before, Brian Smith is one of their playmakers. And there's a handoff right there to Parkman. Parkman bounces it outside, 40. 35, 30, 25, 20, down to the, about the 10 and maybe even the 8-yard line and out of bounds. A huge gain right there for Elijah Parkman. And he'll be out of bounds at right about the 9-yard line as we stroll down to this end of the field. That'll be first and goal inside the 10 and at the 9-yard line for the Fredericksburg Canes. And Parkman right now really getting it done on the ground. If I'm Coach Hutton, I'm going back to that well a couple more times here being inside the nine-yard line. Also watch out here. We've seen Monty McMorris a couple times throw the fade ball outside to either Brian Smith or Noah Martin. So we'll keep an eye on that as well too. Martin winds, lines up wide left. He'll have single coverage on the outside. McMorris drops back, and he's going to be taken down and sacked for a loss of about six yards back to the 15-yard line. So a big play right there, a big stand for the Albany Giants. If they can get a stand here and possibly get the ball back, that'd be huge for them. Uh, five minutes to go here, six-yard loss on that play. Coach Hutton huddles them up. They call the play. McMorris will bring him back to the line. Line checks out the defense. Look around for a minute. Noah Martin out wide left. They'll set. McMorris with a handoff. And Parkman, the ball carrier, will be brought down right around the 12-yard line. So once again, that's going to bring up third down and goal from the 12-yard line. We've already gone through about three and a half minutes here in this third quarter. Moving along very quickly. Of course, the Canes do have the lead, so they'll take up as much time on the clock as they would like and really drag this thing out. They walk back up to the line. Monty McMorris surveys the field. Coach Hutton, a few words to say to him. He backs back out. Going to line up in the shotgun. Looks like the pistol formation right here. They'll hike the ball. He's going to drop back, looking, 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 rolls to his right, throws the ball to the end zone, and it is incomplete into the end zone. That will bring up fourth down and goal from the 12-yard line. So fourth down and goal from the 12-yard line as Coach Maurice Hutton huddles him up. 
McMorris had a man there, just slightly off to the right. And this will be probably one of the biggest plays of the game so far here on fourth down and 12. Monty McMorris walks up to the line of scrimmage. He'll survey the field. He's going to line up in the shotgun. Parkman to his left. He's got Brian Smith right there at tight end. He'll hand the ball off to Parkman, and Parkman is going to be brought down right about the 20-yard line. That's going to be a loss of eight yards and a turnover on downs for the Albany Giants. They will take the ball back over, down only 7 nothing. We'll take a quick break right here on Tough TV's presentation of the Amateur Athletic Union's National Championship 8-and-under game. Back for the Albany Giants. High snap right there, handled by Ellis Robinson, he's going to run out to the right side. He's going to get to the 20 to the 30. High steps his way all the way up to the 31-yard line. There's a penalty flag on the play, though. We'll have to check out the, the flag, and it looks like it will be a hold on the offense, so that one will be coming back. Penalties so far have really been the story for the Albany Giants as that run right there is negated by number 19, the quarterback, Ellis Robinson. So Fredericksburg Canes had a great opportunity right there to go ahead and extend this lead. Unfortunately, a couple big plays by the defense for the Albany Giants back them up and eventually make the stop right there at the 20-yard line. That hold right there will bring the line of scrimmage back to about the 9-yard line. So we're looking at first and 21 here for the Albany Giants been tough going so far, but they're only down by one score. One play can make all the difference right here. Javante Thompson back at quarterback takes the snap, and it looks like we're going to have another flag on the play. Appears to be a false start on the offense. That'll back him up a few more yards here. And what has been a tough go of it so far for Coach Daniel Bologna and his Albany football giants be half the distance to the goal ball will be at the four yard line looking at a first down at about 26 high snap Thompson handles it runs out to the right he's going to cut back up the field breaks one tackle and will be brought down right around the seven yard line so Javante Thompson making something out of nothing right there high snap Good job to protect the snap and then get the ball up to the seven-yard line to try to negate any kind of negative yards. Clock continues to tick here in the third quarter. 2.45 left now and second down and 25 on the seven-yard line for your Albany Giants. Fredericksburg has had some very stingy defense today, and, of course, it's been tough going for the Giants, as we mentioned before. Penalties have really negated some of the big plays and momentum that they've had. But still, only down by one score. Ellis Robinson gets the ball. He's going to take off to the left-hand side, and he's going to be brought down right around the 10-yard line. Gain of about two yards right there. That's going to bring up third and a pretty lengthy 20 yards. Unbelievable weather here in the city, beautiful of Orlando, Florida right now as this clock ticks. About 66 around kickoff and looks to be low 70s right now. Um, Clouds really breaking up. I mean, I tell you what, if, if you're watching it um, up north or, or anywhere right now, Orlando is definitely, and Florida is definitely the place to be in December. You can't get weather better than this anywhere in the entire country right now. So as we mentioned before, that'll bring up a third and 20. Bring up a third and 20. It's the Albany Giants comeback set. A little bit of confusion right there, and we'll have another flag. Appears to be a delay of game on the offense, and that'll back them up five more yards. So the officials really putting in some overtime on the penalty flags today. Lots of flags on the Albany Giants. High snap right there. Thompson handles it, breaks out to the right, cuts it back up field, has a hole, and then he's brought down from behind. Nice play right there by the Fredericksburg Canes on third and 25. Got back about to the line of scrimmage. And 
That's going to bring up fourth down. And the Giants, of course, going to be forced to punt right here. Fredericksburg Canes, Monty McMorris is going to be hit as he throws. Ball's tipped, picked off, and going to be returned. So a big turnover right there. The Canes forced two in the first half, and Albany comes out here with 40 seconds to go in the third quarter and gets their first turnover from the Canes. Big play right there. That is big swing of momentum. Put the ball down to the 43-yard line, and all of a sudden, only down 7-0. The Albany Giants are right back in business. Great play right there by Jaquan Athis to stay with the ball as it was tipped, intercept it, and make sure he protected it and got down to the ground. Couldn't see who that was coming off the end right there. Got a hand on the ball on Monty McMorris, but nevertheless, Albany Giants will take back over. They can just cut down on some of the delay of games and holdings and false starts. They could be in business. Ellis Robinson gets the ball, and he's going to be taken down for a gain of about a half a yard right there. I think Coach Bologna wants him to look downfield a little bit more, maybe see if he's got some receivers down there. Right now they're just kind of getting the ball and running either left or right. See if maybe we can stretch something vertically here for the Albany Giants. Giants will take back the field over here, the right hash. Moving from left to right on your screen. Snap right back there. He's going to pitch it out. Almost intercepted, but Thompson takes control of it, keeps it, but that's going to be a big loss for them. Dangerous throw right there. That was almost intercepted. Thompson manages to hang on, and that'll be the end of the third quarter for us. We'll take a break right here as we get ready to go for this fourth quarter of the eight and under AAU National Championships 2013 here in beautiful, sunny Orlando, Florida. Back here now on Tough TV's presentation of the eight and under 2013 AAU National Championships. High snap right there. Robinson contains it on third and 19, but he's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage and frustrating right now for head coach Daniel Bologna as penalties and mistakes have really negated anything that the Albany Giants have tried to get going right now. 7-0, Fredericksburg Canes lead, and it looks like we'll get a punt right here from the Albany Giants as we switch back fields. Once again, only eight-minute quarters here, so Fredericksburg, if they can sustain a, a legitimate drive here, might have a chance to put this one away. Again, that was a third and 19 right there. High snap, and Robinson did a great job just to manage to hang on to the ball. Tried to make something out of nothing, which has been kind of a, a familiar thing today. And uh, unfortunately, he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. If you're Albany, though, last possession. You just got your first turnover. You got a little bit of pressure on Monty McMorris. There's another opportunity right here to get in there, maybe force another turnover, change the field position, and hopefully change this game. For the Fredericksburg Canes, they'll take the field. Offensive line will survey. You have... Noah Martin and Brian Smith out wide. Smith comes in motion now to Monty McMorris. He'll hand the ball off to Smith, and Smith will be taken down a few yards behind the line of scrimmage. Great play right there by the Albany Giants. Looks like Justin Walker right there on the stop. He's played a stellar game so far on that line. It'll bring up second and 12 now after the loss of two yards. About six minutes and 50 seconds here to go in this fourth quarter of the national championship game. Both teams still with three timeouts. They'll line up here in the power eye. Monty Morris will turn. He's going to hand the ball off to Parkman. Parkman's going to dance ahead for about a gain of about four yards. Looks like that's going to bring up a third down and right around seven. Seven, maybe eight yards on third uh, for the third down. Third down and eight is the official spot. Ball's at the 42-yard line of the Fredericksburg Canes as they try to matriculate the ball down the field here. Once again, this is the eight and under division for the 2013 AAU National Championships here in beautiful, sunny Orlando, Florida. Monty McMorris back under center, back in the power eye on third and eight. Got to figure this might be four down territory here. He's going to turn. He's going to hand the ball back off to Elijah Parkman. 
Parkman's going to bounce ahead to about the 41-yard line. And that looks like that's going to bring up a fourth down and five. So big position here for Coach Maurice Hutton. And it looks like they will go ahead and decide to punt the ball with five minutes and 40 seconds left to go. Seven nothing here with five minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the eight and under national championship game for AAU football. Albany Giants get the ball back. They're going to run to the outside with Javante Thompson. He's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of about two yards right there. Right idea. They got to get the ball a little bit more vertical though right here. Seems like the uh, Fredericksburg Canes are pretty much just loading up as they have Monty McMorris, who's kind of hanging out back there. He's been their, their stellar quarterback. Did throw a pick a little bit earlier, but also has a touchdown pass to go along with it. The only score of the game so far. That's going to bring up a second down and 11 with 4 minutes and 49 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Looks like Ellis Robinson is going to be back under center. And out wide, he's going to have Javante Thompson and also Daniel Bologna. Robinson looking, looking, looking. Pursuit right there. we got a couple penalty flags on the play. We'll have to check out and see what they are. And another holding penalty on the Albany Giants. So another penalty for the Albany Giants is going to back them up. That was second down right there. Going to back them up. We'll have to see where the ball is spotted at. We'll get you the, uh, the yardage. It looks like that penalty will actually be declined, so that's going to bring up third down. The loss already on the play. It's going to be third down and 20. With four, about halfway through this fourth quarter here on the 2013 AAU National Championships. And a picture-perfect clear day here in Orlando, Florida. And that looks like it's going to be another flag of, for a false start on the Albany Giants. Tough situation. you got to imagine the nerves are really running high right now for the Giants playing on this big stage. Of course, all these teams have been down here battling all week long. It's been an incredibly grueling past four to five days for them, playing multiple games every single day. You can only imagine the wear and tear that that's going to take on the body. Nevertheless, though, it's third down and 25 ball on the nine-yard line. Hike back to Robinson. He'll look. He'll look. He's going to fire. It's going to be picked off once again. Second interception for Monty McMorris, and that's going to put them in great field position for the Fredericksburg Canes at the 17-yard line. They are back in business. We'll step aside for one second right here on Tough TV's presentation of the AAU National Championships. Back here on Tough TV, Elijah Parkman, the ball carrier right there, stumbles ahead for a couple yards. It's going to bring up second down and about nine. Ball is going to be spotted at the 16-yard line, so still an opportunity for Fredericksburg to get a first down right here. Again, both teams both have three timeouts. There is about three minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. Monty McMorris now with two picks and a touchdown pass, putting in his name into the hat of most valuable player slash player of the game. He'll get back under center. He's going to turn. It looks like hand the ball off right here to Elijah Parkman. He's got a hold of the outside. He's going to cut back. Gets rumbles down to about the nine-yard line right there. Going to be a few yards short of the first down. Tough running right there by Parkman. He's really been the workhorse so far today. And their main running back. So Fredericksburg looking to punch it in. Put a little bit of icing on their cake right here. Of course, still a 7 to nothing ball game. A turnover and something going the other way can change everything. It's been tough for the Albany Giants. Uh, lots, of, lots of penalties so far today, unfortunately. But it's okay. They're still only down 7 nothing with 2 minutes and 18 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Monty Morris will walk up, survey the defense. He's got the power eye set behind him. They're going to be strong to the left side. 
He's going to turn, hand the ball off to that side, and great penetration and dropping the guy right there is going to be number 78, Marcus House. Great play, great penetration to get back through that line. There is a penalty marker down. We'll have to check out the call. Looks like it's going to be holding on the offense. That penalty will be declined right there by Coach Daniel Bologna. Again, two minutes and four seconds to go. It's going to be a third down and about two yards. Oh, I'm sorry, that'll actually bring up fourth down now. So fourth down. Again, a huge play right here. Clock still be continuing to tick. Minute and 45 seconds left now in this national championship game. Monty McMorris heads back under center. He will survey. He's got Noah Martin to the right. He's going to dump it off right there. Penalty flags flying on the play. And then brought down right there. So pass complete to number 51, Brody Brennan. We'll have to check out the penalty flags, though. And see what the call is. Coach Bologna does not look happy, and it is holding against the Albany Giants. So, again, another penalty flag really hindering the hopes of the Giants here. That's definitely going to be a big one right there, as it, it appears that might give them enough for the first down. Again, Coach Bologna still has all three timeouts left. So... And as we know, down one score, anything can change the game right here. Back here, we've sorted everything out. It is now first down for the Fredericksburg Canes and a run right up the middle by Elijah Parkman. He'll be brought down right around the three-yard line right there as officials blow the play dead. We ended up having a, a, a penalty on that fourth down right there. It was actually a holding call against the Giants, which then gave Fredericksburg the first down. First timeout taken right there by Coach Daniel Bologna to stop the clock. So really right now, just to reset for you real quick, one minute and 10 seconds to go here. It's seven to nothing, Fredericksburg Canes. They have the ball inside the five yard line right now. Second down and three on the three. So if they can punch it in from here, they'd pretty much ice the game. However, they're only up by one score. You never know what can happen. Officials conversing right now. I do want to point out, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet today, but it is an absolute phenomenal day here in Orlando, Florida. Perfect out. I'm sure these kids are loving being down here right now. You have a team from Virginia, a team from New York, so they're getting a chance to play down here in this beautiful 70-degree Florida weather. Um, I know they've been hanging out by the pool at the resort all week, having a good time, and, and also being very serious and dedicated to football. So here we are, a minute and 10 seconds to go in the 2013 AAU National Championship 8 and under division. Monty McMorris steps under center, assuming he hands the ball off right there to Parkman. Parkman's going to barrel ahead, and it looks like they have him down at the one-yard line. So that'll be another timeout taken, I'm sure, by the Albany Giants. It's going to stop the clock with one minute to go and leave the Giants with one timeout down 7 to nothing. So a quick timeout here as we... Head back to the line, just stops the clock for him. Again, one timeout left for the Giants. McMorris gets behind center. He's going to turn, hand the ball off once again to Parkman. Parkman's going to be stood up and stopped at about the half-yard line right there. And I'm sure that's going to be the last timeout that's going to be taken by Coach Daniel Bologna. And that's going to bring up a crucial play with only 54 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. Of course, downtown Orlando, the beautiful Citrus Bowl here is the setting for these 2013 AAU National Championship games. Doesn't get much better than this if you're a, a football fan. Being able to play on this historic field, tons of pros have played here. It's got to be fantastic for the kids to be out there to get a little action on this beautiful stadium. 
So Fredericksburg Canes to reset it for you up seven to nothing, trying to punch it in on fourth down to go ahead. They'll run it ahead, and that will be a touchdown right there. So touchdown for the Fredericksburg Canes. 50 seconds left. Coach Maurice Hutton couldn't have drawn it up any better than that in terms of if he was looking for a, a playbook to go by right there to be able to score with 50 seconds left and go up 13 to nothing. They'll take the ball back and put it at the hash mark right there. We'll set up for the extra point try here with this 8 and under division. It's going to make it 13 to nothing, and it's never over in youth football, but, you know, the fat lady is warming up, as we like to say. So Monty McMorris back now. He's got Noah Martin wide right, Smith wide left. They get a great rush on him, pull him down. It's actually going to be caught by Noah Martin, and he's going to scamper into the end zone for the extra point. Great determination right there by Monty McMorris. He's getting pulled down to the ground, somehow gets rid of the ball, gets it off to his receiver, Noah Martin, and he gets in. That'll make it 14 to nothing here with 50 seconds left in the 8 and under 2013 National Championships here on Tough TV. The Fredericksburg Canes go ahead to get up 14 to nothing. So going to be very tough right now for the Giants as they kick off and Ball bounces around, and it's going to be down right there at about the 44-yard line where the Giants will take over. Really, Monty McMorris has had a fantastic game. Elijah Parkman running the ball right now for the Fredericksburg Canes. It's pretty much been a one-man show. Two interceptions so far for Monty McMorris, a touchdown pass, a couple conversions as well, too, as he just made a great play right there to convert that extra point. So 46 seconds to go here. Albany Giants will take over the ball. They need a quick-hitting play right here as... Number six, Justin Walker, scampers onto the field. Lineman, he's had a really nice day on defense, breaking up a lot of plays in the backfield. We got Javante Thompson back there at quarterback. And they hike the ball. Thompson will look over to his right. He's going to run, and he's going to break it. Oh, ball's on the ground, but it looked like he recovered it back again. Again, Giants used all their timeouts, so the clock will move fairly quickly here. 30 seconds left to go in the game, and it's all but going to be wrapped up for the Fredericksburg Canes. Javante Thompson looking, rolls out right, rolls, 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 throws. It's going to be low pass intended for Ellis Robinson. Unfortunately, just a little bit low right there, but that's going to stop the clock with 18 seconds to go and bring about third and seven on the 47-yard line. 14-0 Canes. Monty McMorris responsible so far for both touchdowns. Parkman has been fantastic on the ground. Big gains left and right. McMorris, of course, as we said as well, too, has forced two turnovers himself on defense as he has two interceptions. Albany Giants will trot back out there with 18 seconds to go, third and seven. Fans starting to take pictures and... Get ready to celebrate the national championship here for the Fredericksburg Kings. High snap over the head of Thompson. He's going to roll back and just fall on it. He'll be down to the 31-yard line, and with no timeouts, that might do it for us as the last play of the game. Clock at triple zeros, and that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2013 eight and under national champions, the Fredericksburg Canes. 14-0 the score as the clock hits triple zeros, and your Fredericksburg Canes are the 2013 eight and under national champions. Congratulations to them, all their fans, and head coach Maurice Hutton on the win. 14-0 the final score here is the Fredericksburg Canes turn out to be the 8-and-under 2013 AAU National Champions. We're going to take a moment right here. We'll get you a quick reset. Right now we're going to go down on the field to Kristen Cadell, who's going to be live with the coaches and also a couple players. Kristen, off to you. Guy, you got a little metal there. All right, so you guys won. It's just awesome. We never got to do this before. We always lost the second championship. I'm just happy.
Can you say and spell your first and last name for me? B R I A N S M I T H. Anybody else want to say it? What? Yeah, me. Right, what do you want to say, buddy? Well, this is the first time coming down here, so I'm appreciating for my teammates, hanging out with my teammates all the time, and just staying around and playing with fo football with them. What's your name? Christian. Christian. All right. And what's your last name? Stringer. Okay. Anybody else want to say we came out here, we played fast, hard, and physical. I never thought that we would make it, but I guess I was wrong. And a shout out to all those Kings fans. Bye. First time coming down here, and this is my first time coming down here, and I want to have fun, but we got to take care of business. You took care of business. Thanks. You won. Thanks. You're so shy now. <laughs> What's it been like as team mom for the Canes coming down here, getting all this organized? <laughs> Stressful. <laughs> well, it's Stressful, been a lot of fun. It's, incredible. it's been a really good experience for the yeah, kids. They all had a good time down here. It's been a great experience. Win or lose, it was a great experience down here. And there you have it, the Virginia Canes beating the Albany Giants 14-0 here in Orlando for AAU football. I'm Kristen Cadell. Thank you very much, Kristen. Appreciate it. It was a great, great atmosphere here in the city of Orlando, the city beautiful right here in downtown Orlando. Perfect weather out for the game, and the Fredericksburg Canes showed up to play, especially Monty McMorris. Two interceptions on defense, accounted for both touchdowns and extra points. He had a little bit of help with Elijah Parkman as well, who really had a great game for them. Well, congratulations in order for the Fredericksburg Canes as they are your 2013 AAU 8 and Under National Champions. Thank you for joining us here on Tough TV. We'll give you a little bit of the trophy presentation as we head out. First thing I want to do is give both teams a round of applause, man. Yeah! So who are you rooting for? Uh, Matthias Mega Barnwell and the Fredericksburg Kings! Yeah. How pumped are you to be here? Absolutely ecstatic. The most exciting experience ever. Can I get you to take your bullhorn and do kind of what you're Oh, you sure can, baby. <laughs> I just, Come on, baby. Everywhere we go! Robinson. E L L I S R O B I N S O N. Don't I say 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 what your name is and who you're rooting for all the Ellis Robinson and my son is also Ellis Robinson. So what's the team you're trying to It's been great. It's been vacation, it's been football, it's been great. Get up! Um we're doing all right. We were doing all right, but we're still gonna win the game. We're still winning the game. Yeah, I have. 